Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Swati and I work as a cloud consultant with Google. In this video, I am going to share my interview experience with you, which might be helpful if you are also preparing for an interview with Google or any fan company especially focused on data engineer or cloud related roles. So before I start the video, a quick background about me. I have been working in IT from last 6 years. I have worked with different organizations like MNCs or mid-scale companies or service-based companies in all these years. And after applying multiple times for different roles with Google, I finally got into Google this year. Amazing! So ever since I updated about this job role on LinkedIn, I got a lot of messages from people about how I got an interview call from Google or how was my interview experience, how can they prepare for an interview with Google. So all these sort of questions I'm going to cover in this video. I'm going to touch up on how was my interview experience, what were the key areas focused on for the interview, what are some of the important topics you can prepare for such interviews. All these things I'm going to cover in this video. So stay tuned. So the whole interview process goes like a first technical screening round, then technical on-site interviews, after that leadership and googliness round. Once you complete all these rounds, then there is hiring committee review or a team matching round and at the end you get the offer. So this is how the whole interview uh, or the hiring process looks like. Let's take each one by one. First and foremost, uh, a lot of people ask me how I got an interview call from Google. Um, so I have been applying uh, for Google from last couple of years and this time the recruiter approached me through LinkedIn. Yes, I got, an, uh, got a message from Google recruiter on LinkedIn about the job description and to set up a call with another technical recruiter. Since I, I had been working in data domain from all these years, so job description seemed in line with my profile. Uh, I set up a call with the other technical recruiter and this was the first technical round of the whole process. So this was the technical screening round. Uh, in this round, first of all, the recruiter uh, briefed me about the role offered and there were, uh, and then there were a lot of questions uh, focused on data ecosystem and cloud services and programming question. For the data and cloud related questions, you can brush up your basic knowledge on data concepts like data warehousing, OLAP, OLTP or data modeling concepts, big data technologies and frameworks, SQL or NoSQL databases. All these uh, basic uh, basics you can brush up on for the cloud uh, related questions of course, cloud services and cloud computing or whichever cloud uh, service, uh, service provider you have experience with. All these basic questions you can brush up on. For the programming one, I was given a program for which I had to tell what would be the output of the program and uh, what will be the time complexity of the program. How can the complexity be improved for this program? So such sort of questions were there in this uh, first round of interview. Uh, it was a 45 minute uh, of discussion. So this was the first round of the interview. So before starting with round two, there was a prep session arranged by Google for all the candidates appearing for this job role. Uh, in the prep session, the details about uh, the upcoming rounds, uh, what will be the key areas candidate will be assessed on, uh, some important topics for the upcoming round, all these details were shared in the prep session, which I found was really helpful to come up with a preparation strategy for the upcoming interviews. So after the prep session, I was asked to set up a preferable date for the on-site interviews. I set up a date for uh, maybe after two weeks of the prep session, two, two and a half weeks of the prep session. Coming to round two, round two is also called RRK, which means role related knowledge. So as the name suggests, uh, this round focuses uh, a lot on your domain knowledge. Uh, so a lot of focus was on uh, my resume during this round, the projects I had delivered. So a lot of questions came from there. Uh, so having an end-to-end -end thorough knowledge of the projects you have delivered so far would be really helpful uh, in this round rather than just focusing on the components you have uh, delivered or implemented. Uh, so try to get a complete understanding of, of your projects. Um, there might be questions like uh, what has been your role in the project, 
uh, how have you participated in coming up with the plan or strategy for the project delivery were there any bottlenecks or challenges faced for example if you have delivered any data migration project what were, uh, what was your plan or strategy to move from on premise to the other platform uh, how uh, why did you choose uh, this component in your implementation so such sort of questions you can expect in this round other important topic for this uh, round was knowledge about data ecosystem uh, like you must be aware of some open source tools like hadoop spark and different apache framework uh, sql and no sql databases uh, their uh, back end implementations and efficiency and also a uh, problem uh, might be given to you uh, for which you have to curate some uh, complex sql queries so uh, so understanding about aggregate and analytical functions uh, could be really handy to solve such complex sql problems so this was uh, the round 2 of the interview the next up was gca or general cognitive ability round this round focuses on candidates' problem solving and uh, critical thinking skills. So it's a mix of questions related to coding, uh, database or data model design question, and uh, system design or data pipeline design related questions. So let's take each one by one. So coming to data model design question, uh, I was given a scenario uh, for which I had to design a data model and once the data model was uh, designed, I was asked few SQL queries on top of the same data model design. For example, you might be asked uh, to design a data model for online movie theater uh, ticket booking system. Uh, now you have uh, to decide what kind of system will you use, OLAP or ONTP, uh, what will be the facts and dimension tables, what will be the key columns in those tables so all these factors you need to keep in mind while designing a data model design uh, also these uh, scenarios do not have much details so uh, an important tip for such questions would be always ask few more details from the interviewer or you might need to take some assumptions as well to come up with a good data model design so once you have designed uh, the data model uh, for the given scenario you might be asked to uh, curate few queries, uh, for example, uh, which was the least revenue earning movie in the theatre last month, or which was the most revenue earning movie in the theatre last month. So now you have to curate the SQL queries on top of the same data model that you just suggested. So you can understand you have to be cautious with your data model design because then only you'll uh, be able to curate some perfect SQL queries. Next up was coding uh, related question. For the coding related question, I was given a problem statement and I had to uh, write a code uh, for the given problem statement uh, in my preferred language. So, uh, so you can choose your preferable language, whether Python, Java, Spark, whichever you are comfortable writing in code with. For these questions, the focus is on data structure and algorithm. So brushing up on all the data structures like arrays, linked lists, tags, queues, uh, knowing about hash tables, hashing, uh, or some knowledge about trees uh, would be really helpful for these uh, problem statements. Uh, you should be knowing uh, which data structure should you use for such problem statement or which algorithm will go well with, uh, with that data structure. So knowledge about all these things uh, could really help you tackle with coding related question. So next up was system design round. So this round basically assesses how a candidate combines their theoretical and practical knowledge. Uh, you might be asked to design an end-to-end -end, uh, uh, system design or end-to-end -end data pipeline for a given scenario under certain limitations or constraints. For example, um, organization X is facing uh, some performance issues and not getting high availability in their existing model, which is on on-premise. So they have decided to move to cloud. How will you design an end-to-end -end data pipeline for uh, organization X? Which all services will come into picture? How will you overcome the limitations they are uh, currently facing? And some of the cross questions you can expect in such round would be uh, why did you choose component A over B? Why did you choose this service over the other one? Do you think this is the most cost effective uh, solution for organization X? 
do you think this uh, service is going to overcome the limitation they are currently facing so all these sort of questions you can expect in this round since i have i have been working uh, with gcp uh, prior to that so i refer to mostly gcp services during uh, my interview but uh, that does not matter if you are working with any other cloud uh, service you you can refer to that as well during your interview final round of interview leadership and googliness round so in this round candidate is assessed for their leadership qualities and their collaborative nature for example how well do you work individually and within a team uh, how will you deal with ambiguity situation do you help out each other within the team so all these areas you are assessed for in this round some examples of question for this round would be like have you faced any conflict situation within your team how did you deal with that situation uh, maybe one of your team member is not performing well what will be your action plan for such situation example an action plan or uh, in such situation would be always try to empathize with other person and then give a solution for example uh, you talk to the person who is not performing well or uh, try to understand maybe he or she might be facing some problem uh, personally at work or at home try to understand their situation and then give a solution so the key thing over here uh, i would say always try to empathize with other person and then give a solution in that way you can easily tackle uh, such questions and this round of interview all right so we have reached the last leg of the whole interview process so these were all the interviews uh, i faced during my experience after this there is a hiring committee review Uh, where the hiring committee uh, goes through all the feedbacks you have received in all the previous interviews and then uh, give a feedback or a result accordingly now there can be a, an extra team matching round as well depending on the role you are getting interviewed for since for my role a uh, team was uh, already decided that i am going to join google cloud team so there was no team matching round for me uh, and uh, after a few days I got an update from my recruiter that I have cleared all the round and uh, wow. discussion related to salary. So yeah, this was the whole uh, interview process I had faced, uh, and the whole process took around two months, like uh, two months, like right from uh, the first message I got from the recruiter till the day uh, I got my offer letter. So the whole process took around two months. So let's end the video here. I hope you got some value from this video for your interview prep. In case there is any other detail or any other topic you want me to touch up on, do let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.